Momo. Welcome to Stories with Momo. Today I'm sharing a book, Memories of the Manger, and it's a dove, an old dove telling the barn animals about the first Christmas. It's quite a delightful story, and I hope that you will enjoy it. Man, Man, Memories of the Manger by Michelle Medlock Adams, illustrations by Doris Etlinger. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Luke 2, 7. The donkey called from down below. We're ready, Mrs. Dove. Please tell your story once again, the one about God's love. The old dove stretched her wings out wide and cooed a gentle coo. I'll be right down, the dove called out, and all at once she flew. She landed on the donkey's back and then hopped to the ground. The animals all moved in close. Nobody made a sound. The colt, the lamb, the kid, the chick, the mouse and the donkey too, they all had heard the tale before, but each time it seemed new. It happened right here in this barn, the old dove softly said. The Son of God was born right here upon this small straw bed. This nice young couple came to town, the dove said with a grin, but Bethlehem was all filled up, no rooms in any inn. The woman wanted to relax. Time was drawing near. She really needed to give birth. That's why she came in here. She was so young, so beautiful, and Mary was her name. Somehow I knew when she gave birth, I would never be the same. And then it happened, just like that. I heard the baby's cries. She pulled her baby close to her and looked into his eyes. She said, Jesus will be your name. And just like the angel said, and then she smiled and praised our God and kissed the baby's head. What did she look like? Asked the coat. Was, was he really big and strong? Why didn't he cry? Was he okay? Or was there something wrong? No, he was perfect, said the dove. At birth, all babies cry. When you were born, you neighed and neighed, and I'm not really sure why. Soon after Jesus had been born, some shepherds came to see they called him Savior, Prince of Peace. I thought, how can this be? How can a baby save the world? What can a baby do? And yet I knew deep in my heart the shepherd's words were true. And the angel had appeared to them and told them everything. And then more angels filled the sky and glorified the king. Wow, I wish I'd been there that night, the little chicken said. I would have praised that baby from, uh, praised that baby too, and danced around his bed. Go on, go on, the donkey said. I want to hear the rest. My favorite part is coming up, the part I like the best. Which part is that? asked Mrs. Dove, the part about the kings. That's right, the donkey said and smiled. The kings who brings the things. That happened later on, said the dove. That's what I have been told. I heard three kings brought Jesus gifts, frankincense, myrrh, and gold. These men of royalty were wise, explained the aging dove. They honored Jesus as God's son and gave him gifts of love. 
I love all gifts, the field mouse said. I like big hunks of cheese. That's what I would have brought the Lord. I always aim to please. Jesus would not have liked your gift, the kid said with a shout. I know what I would have given him. I've got it all figured out. Well, what is it, the field mouse asked. What would your gift have been? I would have given him myself, said the goat, to be his bestest friend. Me too, me too, the colt cried out. I would have been his horse. You think he would have liked that, Doug? Of course, of course. God, God gave the best gift of all. He gave his only son. And Jesus is for you and me. He is for everyone. Are you quite sure, the field mouse asked. For us, the, chimed the lamb. Because we're just little, little animals. And he's the great I am. That's very true, said Mrs. Dove. But God loves you and me. He'll always love each one of us throughout eternity. That's what he sent his son to earth, explained the wise old dove. That's what Christmas is all about. God's never-ending love. And God loves you still. And he wants you to accept Jesus as your Savior and as your friend every day. God bless. Merry Christmas. And until we meet again, have a great Christmas. Bye-bye.